Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Never Winter Nights. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today here in Mel Dunnan's estate as we try to find out where that guy is. And I went back home to get Lino to help me out. I paid a hundred for six gold and one short sword. Yes, yes, that's what we paid that for, but it's okay. It's all good. Also, we have uh, remains over here. Arrows. Why do I... What, what happened? Why did I... What? What's wrong with me? Hmm. Well, question of the century. Uh, let's... Okay, we're actually running low on arrows. Look at that. We're running low on arrows. Let's continue. Let's move on with our... Uh, ex uh, ex ex experience? That's not what word I was trying to say. With our expedition, I guess. Yes. Uh, but ooh, we need to go all the way around. You see that? That's the way down. Well, fortunately, I'm here for you, and I will be there. Right now there we go see easy youtube is the best for this oh we have a, oh it's a bombardier beetle it should Perish be okay as you should actually i'm gonna switch to uh normal attack hey adapa you're supposed to seriously what i hate i hate that they are ai stupid but there we go we can we can handle ourselves and this little beetle at the same time come on adapa do your job there we go and what we have in this room, we have a potion of cure or something or other. We have uh, some uh, bolts of frostbite that I will keep because I will sell them. Ooh, an armor, unidentified armor. What is this? Uh, it needs to be identified. Okay, so I have a couple of bags, don't I? Uh, we have one, this bag over here, it's to be for things to be sold, right? Yes, indeed. Which means that that goes in there. Which means that the amethyst goes in there as well. The aventurine too. That one doesn't. Neither does that. The silver ring goes in there. Okay, Ooh, this one hasn't been uh, identified yet. We have a longbow plus one. That's my longbow. Please don't sell it. Short bow, uh, short sword. The these are the bolts. No, just normal bolts and floor spar. Where's the bolt? What's the things that I got? Uh, darts plus two. We got uh, these. Also are gonna be sold. And oh, a web, a spell over there that we didn't learn about. Can I cast any of these anymore? No, I can't. Okay. Uh. As for this, this needs to be identified. I believe I was... Yeah, well, I can keep it over there. Sure. Good enough. Good enough. What else do we have around here? Nothing. I opened these all already. Ooh, we got some floor spar. I'll take that. We got a little bit of gold. Can close the inventory there. Nothing. A little bit of gold as well. You know, little by little. Li Ooh, another one of these traps. Not that I, ne not that I need them. Uh, let's put it over there. Well, we can. Uh, we actually need them, but not for right now. Hopefully, they uh, they will come in handy. Let's see what's behind this door. Where's Adam? Oh, where's um? She's back there. Seriously, she's stuck. Ah, well, whatever. She's more hindrance than help anyway. Uh, what do we have in here? Well, not for these though. Not for when it's locked. Let's see if I can destroy it. Yes, I can. See, she's not needed. Not needed at all, and besides, I need to go back there anyway. Yeah. And Adapa is with me, so I'm never alone when I'm with Adapa. She's cuddly, she's friendly, and she has a good sense of humor as well, which is also important in, yeah. in a companion. Although, there we go. And she also breaks down things. Don't look at me, Adapa! Just, let's, let me do this. Uh, got another potion. What about this thing? Okay, bash it open. Easy enough. Now, of course, with Lino over here, it would be better. Can I... Can I do something with her over there? I can't, I'm trying to right-click there, but nothing happens. Uh, what about this thing? This thing... Ooh, a journal of Men Mel Dunnan. Let's see what that is. This book is full of uh, tightly scripted dates and notes. A journal kept by the wizard Mel Dunnan. Most entries are short and to the point regarding his vari vari various magical experiments and some of the creatures he has paid to uh, have smuggled into the city for his examination. Most re recently, however, his entries become much more interesting. So, the gods have smiled on my destiny. I had heard a little about the creatures being brought to the sea from Waterdeep, but, um, th uh, but thought little of my chances of even laying eyes upon them. Lo and behold, however, I discovered a dryad from uh, that very shipment wandering the streets of the, dis the district, lost and frightened after the battle in the academy. It was glad enough to accompany me, and I have caged it for the moment until I decide what to do with it. I have, uh, that's the following day, I have decided to experiment upon this dryad and find a cure for this plague on my own. Think of all the gold and pa the panicked nobles of the city would offer for a cure. It is too bad that the dryad must be sacrificed, however, she is comely if inhuman. 
And then several days later, I cannot get the dry, uh, dry it out of my mind. Thoughts of her are with me always. always. Today, I attempted to draw blood from her f to fuel my experiment, and I found I could not hurt her even that much. Has she enchanted me, or am I simply lonely for such beauty? Uh, I cannot think clearly. Still, she recoils from my touch. I must win her love. I must. I will not release her from the cage until she feels as I do. Well, I think it backfired on her, didn't it? Uh, that uh, she it's not going too well for her, I would say. So let's put that in there. Let's see what else we have. So yeah, the Dryad is the monster that is causing... Well, it's not actually causing problems here in this district. Which is interesting because the district didn't actually have any problems. So there's... it's it, Could it be that all the issues of the city were just because they got the Water Davian creatures away from the Academy? Because that seems to be the case. Anyway, um, Anapa likes to le teleport, but Linu does not. Oh, this thing can go down. Let me save the game. Uh, Anapa at least deal dealt damage. And I'm doing damage as well. There we go. What do we have in here? Not a way back to where we were. <sighs> don't touch that. Not a way back, most likely, because there's no... Ooh, don't touch those. Anapa is probably going to touch those with her face and feet and paws. Linu did. That's fine. That's fine. You guys do as you please. You can disarm those traps. So oh, no! Ooh. Okay. I think I can do this. I don't think so. No? Okay. Okay. Do you think so now? Yeah, she does. So she didn't... Are you serious? They won't trigger the traps themselves? Oh, that's so bad. That's so I'm bad. Well, done here. Well, it's not really bad. It's just a way to diminish the exploit because they can die. You can't. Uh, let's see what we have. We have a katana that goes in here. Still have room for that. The container is full. No, I don't. Okay, this thing is locked. All right, dear. I'm getting This thing to is it. locked as well, and so is this. They're not gonna do damage, are they? Mm, that was a shame. Takasi. Oh, excuse okay, my. Okay, I'm Elvin. gonna get that. Usually, basically, what I'm doing with uh, with Tommy is uh, getting the opportunity. Let me actually do this. Yeah. I'm gonna do this on camera. Get, with Tommy, basically, what I'm doing is getting the opportunity to get oh, the it. Basically, it's all, all that it is. So let's go. Can I? Yes, enter the portal. And look at this, by the way. Tommy goes for it, but so does Adapa. <laughs> oh boy, Adapa. Let's see what I, I can do done. here then. Okay, a little bit. Is this? Nope, that one is done. And yeah, I'm paying. I'm overpaying for this, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Our gold is, should be enough. Should be enough. Just a. Oh! That one didn't need that. Okay, unless unless Adapa created it somehow. Okay, let me get you, Tommy out of the way. A little bit out of the way. I hope. Yes, come with me. And let's go. 50 more gold. Okay, so what do we have in here? We have a gauntlet that cannot be identified. Let's see if I can identify it. Nope, it is not. So that goes in there. A dire mace that go goes in here as well. Yes, it is not full. What are you, oh, we have more things in here. Hmm. I can put it over there. That I need to identify. Well, actually, I'm going to identify in the shop, but whatever. And this katana, I believe, still has room in the second bag. Yes, it does. Fantastic. Okay, so that was that. Nothing too extraordinary. We have a huge great axe. Okay, sounds like a plan. That thing is full. Nope, I wanted to do it differently. Okay, yeah, definitely full. What about this thing? Mm, well... Yeah, it is full. The Great Axe doesn't fit in there, does it? Uh, ooh, actually, I might be able to switch these things around. Just Tetris my way out of here. Yes, he does. There we go. Fantastic. So that's a little bit less weight on me. Mm -hmm. I'm, I am very overburdened, but... We have a potion of antidote. Really? Huh. Okay. Uh, we also are extremely overburdened in terms of potions and all that. I do need to, to get through all this. There we go. And what about this thing? Oh, we got a copper necklace and some gold. Okay, moving on. Let's go. Actually, I will see you in a little bit. Apparently, there are still enemies nearby. But where? Huh. I don't understand. Anyway, we're going back. Um, because uh, I really need... I really need to sell my stuff, and uh, I need to identify things and all that sort of stuff, so let's let's just have a chat One with of the bards here in Castle Neva is composing a song to honor your adventures during the recovery of the second reagent. Yeah. I believe I heard Lord Nasher himself yeah, humming yeah. the tune. So, 
Let me see. Let me see what I can sell to you. Well, all of these, most likely. Let's just sell... Yeah, all of these are to be sold. And that's going to be a fair bit of money. Can't sell that. That silver ring is apparently a quest item. Sure. Can sell these. Sell all of that over there. And these... I can't sell these? Okay, drop. Can I sell those? Yes. And that. And that. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. What about this thing? This thing is where I keep, well, not everything, but some unidentified things. Identify. This are graded gloves of spellcraft. They uh, grant six spellcraft bonus. What do I have on me? I got the uh, animal handling gloves. Okay, so these things are actually quite expensive and worth the money of uh, identification. This thing, it is robes of cold resistance or resistance. It adds 15 cold resist, and uh, that's that actually. Are they expensive? They are quite expensive. That's good. Over here we have uh, protection from evil. Uh, you know what? I don't. Re I don't really think I. 15% is not good enough for. Uh, for just it, it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, right? So let's just sell. Uh, the Iron Mace goes, the Katana goes. Over here we have a belt. We don't use a belt, do we? Do we? Yeah, we do. We have the Archer's Belt. It does uh, extra piercing resist. <laughs> because that's what we... We always get attacked by... by, by our, it's, I don't know how that is, the Archer's Belt. It shouldn't be. It really shouldn't. But there we go. Uh, let's uh, go over here. Identify. And this is the Sash of Shimmering. It adds spell resistance, which is actually pretty good. And much better than the crappy belt that I have on me. Uh, how do I do this? So I need to remove this over through here. Put that over there. And uh, that's going to be that. This thing is worth 326 or 25 and our, our new one is worth more. This is uh, the Ring of Fortitude plus one uh, to Fortitude saving throws. Awesome. Go for it. Okay. So also we're going to need a little bit more arrows. So I will buy a couple more. Like that. Thank you very much. These are our things. We, ha we have a journal over there. Potion of Clarity. Those are potions that I'm going to need to just... I, I would like to find some containers for the, all this stuff, really. Uh, over there, Potion of Endurance. That sells. Garnet. Potion of Invisibility. Uh, Ale sells. Potion of Speed. Keep it around. Official document. Okay, so this is all important stuff. Sell that over there. Linus Token. We got... Uh, is that sellable? Yeah, it is. Silver Ring over there. These do not sell. Okay, what is this? Gauntlet? Oh, okay. So that's not to be sold. I'm not really sure what that is for. I could equip it. Let's go with it. Special Holy Water, Gilded Urn, and uh, a few other things lying around. A Copper Ring right there. My containers. Okay, good stuff. Let's put this like so. So it sorts through everything a little bit better. I didn't look at a pier. We have the Wand of Lesser Summoning. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it around, because you never know if you're gonna need that, I suppose. It's always good to have some summons, just to help you out if uh, things go south. Uh, how is our weight situation? Not that great. Not that great. Let's put it over there. Don't move. You're good where you are. Okay, we got a few Thieves tools and all that sort of stuff, but just in general, I think I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Does, she does have more stuff than she used to, doesn't she? Or is it just because I sold her more thing? I think that's the case. She doesn't really sell anything interesting, to be honest. She has the long bolt plus one. That's not mine. Was it mine? Maybe I sold her that or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's get out of here. What is that? It's a dagger plus one. It's a really tiny, tiny weapon. Eh, that's good. Let's go. Let's go. See you later, Tommy. Yes, pay the money. Pay the bills. Did we rest? Uh, well, I just saved. Can't. I didn't rest, did I? Well, let's go. Down into the bowels of Meldanon's tower. Can't rest where, while there are enemies nearby. Well, let's switch to that. Let's switch to this. So this seems to be a fairly small area. I'm thinking Meldanon is quite close. Nope, it's a salt method. Or Mephit. I'm sneaking. Am I? Okay, there was a hit. And she's healing herself, I think. I just got uh, attack decreased and armor class decreased. Adapa is doing her thing. This guy is the only one in the room, so we should be fine. And there we go. Fantastic. Okay. Are we done? I think so. Let's go back over there because I, I need to sleep. And if any if anywhere is going to be a, a safe place to sleep, is going to be over here. But probably not. Nope, there are enemies nearby. Okay, doesn't matter. We have another door. And we have plenty of health to contend with. No, don't close the door. That's bad. Open the door! Dang it. The controls in this game, honestly. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's save the game there. 
what we Let have. We have another method. You. Nasty imp. Oh, that's bad. These guys are really bad. I got an interrupt, didn't I? I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. I think I did again. Fantastic. Okay, let's switch to fast mode or rapid shot or something. Just click there, and that's activated. So he gets one that always hits, and it goes first. And he's invisible, by the way. Yeah. Attack the nearest! Honestly. In the name of Sandy yeah. Moonbow! So how do I tell if I'm in rapid shot mode? Well, I just activated it. Uh, they're a little yeah. tentative about attacking this guy. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Attack him already! Oh boy. Oh, I, I stopped my... St How does that work? Why did I stop? Is it because he got... One oh, nice critical. And he's dead. See? That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Well, actually, I didn't do it very well, but I did it. At least. What did he have? A throwing axe needs to be identified. It is a fire axe. Not actually a fire axe. It just says that it's a fire axe. Uh, that's our scimitar over there. We have a few things. Can I rest? Yes, I can. Fantastic. Okay, let's just go with that. And let's see what these are. A bag with a glittering necklace. And that goes in there. And a bag with gold pieces. Eight. We're seeing a, I think we're seeing a steady increase in the amount of gold pieces we get from our loot. Uh, it's not too bad. This thing over here is dragon steels. Yeah, we found, we found a few of these. Let's put them over there. And we have a door that goes that way. I don't want to go through that door. I want to go through this one because I saw this one first. And that's usually how it works uh, for me. Anyway. Mm-hmm. That should be easy. It's not trapped, otherwise they wouldn't attack it. Adapa is really pissed at that. It's just that she hates stables. I'm all done Ooh. here. 14 damage. She really hates stables. Can you go there where I tell you? No, apparently my character can't go where I tell him to go. Uh, okay, what do we have? One gold piece. Sure. Can you imagine us going for Lino for that? We got, uh, let me go into sneak mode. We have a let bombardier beetle you. over there. He can't, my character can't decide where it needs to go to attack. Just look at this. There we go. Ooh, but wait a minute. That thing, is that thing the same as the other ones? Because it looks really ugly. In the name of Sandy and Moonbow! Yes. Yes. Whatever. In the name of whoever. Kill that thing. There we go. Okay. Now, what else? We have a little bit of gold. We have uh, a great sword plus one. That we have no need for. It goes over there. Quite a huge sword as, as it turns out. And over here we have a... Bashable little container. Yes. I'm all done here. Whew, we're all done there. Fantastic. Uh, what did he have? A potion of cat's grace. Not too bad. Not too bad. Always buffs are important. Luskin's Arcane Brotherhood. The dangers of... Uh, yeah, we, didn't we read this one before? I think we did. I think we did. Okay, so let's not care about that. This has a trap behind it, but not actually on the door or in the door. A summoned... There's a... Did she just unsub... No. Of course. Of course. Why don't you... Why are you unequipped? You were gonna punch that guy in the face? Okay, yeah, just... Shove arrows in his torso. I think I can animal empathy you. Critical failure? Really? You got a critical failure off of that guy? Sure, whatever. I think we'll be fine. Can you try that again? Failure. Perish so nasty should. attacks... What is she doing? Is she? Oh, she's got. She probably got yeah. a debuff. No, she can attack him through there. Fantastic. Okay, so let's take a uh, light, a cure light wounds yeah. potion. Yeah, he's probably gonna die. I'm just gonna t stay here and survive. And the guy is gone. There we go. See? Just focus on the mage, and the summon will die. Especially if the summon is u In the useless. Name of Sandy and Moonbow. Yes. Yeah, she's got some sort of slow or something. Because she was really, really slow. We got another fire axe. No, this is a black raven axe. Put it over there. And that is a break over here. What do we have? There it is. What is it? It is a negative energy ray. Sure. Can't use that. But that's always fine. And this seems to be a non-locked door. What about this thing? Hmm. I don't trust this. It doesn't have a trap. And this is another belt. Most likely another belt like the one we have. 
Uh, oh, by the way, you might have noticed I didn't identify the bag. Well, the reason for that is because it's irrelevant. It works the same, so you can also you can actually make the calculations if you have like uh, uh, something that weighs ten. Like I suppose, let's go in here. Let's open this. Now let's see how much that weighs. That weighs fifteen. So, you, like for example, let's make the calculation. So you put this in here uh, or in there. Okay. So nope, don't do, the, do it like that. So this thing. It uh, diminishes by 20%. So that thing would weigh uh, 13. No, actually, f 12. Yeah. So you just open this. You can't tell how much it weighs, but look at this. So we got 103, and you put that in there, and we got 27, which means that it reduced by 6, which means that it is actually a 40% reduction uh, of this. So it's quite fantastic. It's quite fantastic. So you should put the heaviest stuff in there, I assume. But I'm still gonna keep it to that one because I'm an idiot. Actually, I I really am an idiot. The, there's ways to, to optimize this, I assume. But, like, you know, because you, you're saving per square and all that sort of stuff. But, whatever. It's all all good. See? It, it, it is... It really works well, actually. <laughs> it really works well. I really should, should uh, heed my advice right there. So, yeah, th there's no need to identify that because it still works. And um, and uh, you can just, you know, figure it out on yourself, by yourself, I mean. Uh, so there's no point. Absolutely no point. Okay, so let's save the game here. And let's see what lies behind this door. Nothing. But this door was open. Oh. There's a summoning thing there in the middle. And a tree. Silver Chalice of Moonbow. I think she might be interested in this. Because she is all t talking about that moonbow dude or dudette. And we have a tree in here. Oh, this is for the dryad, isn't it? Why is it surrounded by sandbags? What exactly is he doing with a dryad that she wants? Oh, it's right there. The Black li Lake Dryad. And we got dragon blood. Is that uh, That seems to be quite important, doesn't it? We got a bunch of interesting stuff like that. And he's nowhere to be seen, which is a good thing, actually. And I suppose... I suppose this place is safe. If we go through here, well, Perish not really safe, should. but safe enough. Man, yeah. I hate the I hate the movement in this game. Yeah. It is so janky. It's unbelievable, really. But how they managed to make a janky movement from Baldur's Gate already? That was pretty janky. But not the movement itself, but the the positioning was terrible. Uh, but should have been better. I mean, um, but uh, for the first game, it's okay. But then they come up with this, which is even worse. Like, you, it, it doesn't spoil the experience, though, mind you. It's, I'm just complaining because it is there, but it's, it, it, it really doesn't break the game for me. It's just... Okay, that's that's locked. And that thing... Can you guys break that while I take care of this door? Thank you very much. And uh, that's that. What what about this thing? Did I open it? I'm all done here. Yes, it was Adapa that destroyed that, but I assume she doesn't... I, I suppose because she doesn't... She can't complain that you're stealing all the glory. You're just gonna say you're all done. And I can rest over here, which is nice. Okay, go on in and let's have a chat with the Dryad. Because I assume Meldanon is going to appear from that door or just in there or something like that. Oh, be wary, stranger. Meldanon is somewhere near. Yeah, I just Taste saved. My rock. Just saved on top of yeah. all of this stuff. My attack has no effect. Oh. That's really bad. Well, we can always leave. Yeah. My attack has no effect. Oh, because he's stoned. Uh, he's stoned. Oh, uh, no, he has. It's not a trap. Yeah. He got a critical hit. Yeah, yeah. he's stone, stone skinned. I'm not really sure what's happening to him. Oh, we, I think yeah. she might have uh, paralyzed him or something. Yeah, because that's the thing around him. The fact that he's stone skinned is good for him, but uh, I think the paralyzation might outdo that a little bit. Okay, he's still paralyzed. That, yeah. yeah. Oh no, you believe you can just invade my home? Do you? I am not so easily assassinated, he says. Well, actually, you're, you're pretty good at defending yourself. Let me heal myself, because I'm pretty good Formosa at that as well. Formosa sent you to kill me, didn't she? She did. Didn't she? Why are you here? Um... I'm here to free the dryad you stole, sorcerer. I did not steal her. I found her wandering the streets and took her in. I was... It was my plan originally to concoct a cure for this plague from her and sell it to the highest bidder. Since then, however, her uh, charms have uh, weakened my judgment and prevented my research. Bah, no doubt it is best she is taken, or I could not read myself of her influence. 
So, you are saying then that Formosa did not send you? You... You will spare me if you give my key to the Dryad's Cage? If I give you the key to the Dryad's Cage? Uh... Well, considering what I saw, yeah, Formosa did send me, actually. So now you die. Okay, so now Please he dies. <laughs> Did I change my alignment? Probably I only change when I complete the quest, but there we go. He's dead. And now let's see what we gain from that. Good stuff. Okay, uh, the clothing is not really relevant. Uh, I mean, we... let's, let's keep it over there. This m magic staff over here is unidentified. It goes in there, if it fits. Yes, it does. And we have the key. Fantastic. And, uh... Nothing happened. 500 gold. See, that's that's much better. Much better. Killing the bad guys gives us that money, money. Meldan and Silver Tooth as well. My journal has been updated about the unrest in Black Lake. Hmm. Well, the Dryad did warn me, but we are out of time for the day, so we're going to talk to her on the next episode. For now, I'm Colonel RPG. Oh, look at that pretty door. Uh, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Never Winter Nights. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, and you want to see the next episode come out sooner, as always, leave a like down below to make sure that happens. Uh, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye. Say bye, Atipa. That's her saying hi. That's terrible. What? Why do I do these things?